Today's video, I'm going to rank all the skills that are currently in while I'm robber, and I'm going to tell you which skills that you should work on first, and which ones you can wait on until later. If you want a more detailed video of all the skills that are currently in while I'm robber, you can always check out my other video where I talk about it in more depth. A link of that video will be in the description below. So without further ado, let's get this started. The first category we're going to talk about is the stealth category, which I think is the most important category of all the categories. And with three of the skills in this category, this category alone, you can survive any heist. And the first skill I would recommend is communication delay, which I feel is a must need if you're doing heist stealthily because who doesn't want to have extra seconds added on to guards phones as you do the check-ins so with that i would give communication delay an s rating and one of the first skills that you should work towards and the next skill i will work on is camera dodger which gives you more time before a camera spots you which goes hand in hand with communication delay and because of that i would also give it an s rating and the third skill i would work on is guard dodger in this category which gives you longer guard spot time i would also give guard dodger an s and i would say these three skills in particular are the holy trilogy of skills that you should be working towards after getting these three skills tier three any skill afterwards is just preference and the last skill in the stealth category is computer science which yes it is faster hacking but you don't unlock the hacking tool until level 17 and sometimes it's just faster to get the key card rather than play the hacking mini game and with that i would give it a b tier since most of the time i do the heist stealthily the rest of the rankings are going to be ranked if i was doing the heist loud starting off with the next category the breaching category and the first skill we're going to talk about is saboteur i think the saboteur skill is a must if you're doing the heist loud which will increase the speed of the power boxes and with that i give it an s rating moving on from that is the drill safety skill since the skill can make you immune for a certain amount of seconds and you can heal during that time i would give it a c rating but since we learned what we could do with c4 check out that video link in the description below i would give it a b rating and the last skill is the armor feet skill well sadly i think this is the first d ranking it barely passes yes you can move faster in barbed wire but most of the time you can just shoot the barbed wire or you can just see the interceptor a mile away and kill him and from the breaching category we have the survivor category and the first skill in the survivor category i'm going to talk about is tank which i would say who doesn't want more health when you're doing the heist loud so this is an s rating followed by tough skin which is more health so more health equals longer lifespan s rating followed by regenerative which is faster regeneration to get your health and armor back s rating now we go on to the two black sheep of this category, which is Healing Touch and Hero. Healing Touch, which is faster revive time, and Hero, which is taking less damage when you're reviving. Yes, both these skills are very important if you're playing the game co-op, but if you're playing solo, both these skills are kind of useless, and I would give both of these an F rating, unless you're playing with other people. And the last category we have to talk about is the Gun Expert category. First skill we're gonna talk about is Scavenger, more ammo from ammo pickups. It's always a good idea to get more ammo from the ammo pickups that you get from cops. So with that, if we're doing the heist loud, S rating. Which moves on to sharpshooter, which is weapon accuracy. This would help with the big LMG if you ever get to that point. But it never hurts to get weapon accuracy. I think this is an S rating. Deadly aim, I would say it's a mixed bag. I would give it a B rating because it's only more damage when you're aiming. And most of the time, if you see my videos, I'm not really aiming down sights. Which moves on to the last stance skill, which most of the time I'm always reloading before I get to the last couple bullets to do double damage. So I would give it a D ranking, just barely passing. And the final skill is speed loader, which is some of the ammo that we pick up from ammo pickups will fill the equipped mag removing the action of needing to reloading so this would help during loud heist and i would give this an s rating as well now this was a ranking of all the skills that are currently in one arm robber but i'm also give you a ranking of which skills in each category i would focus on so obviously the stealth category i would recommend communication delay guard dodger camera dodger since the breaching category has three i would say saboteur is the must for the survivor category i would say it's tough skin tank and regenerative and in my opinion the three skills that you should work on in the gun expert category category is scavenger sharpshooter and speed loader and with this we've ranked all the skills that are currently in one arm robber i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like comment and subscribe to help the channel grow if you want to see a funny video click the video on the left if you want to see more informative videos on one arm robber click the video on the right and like always i hope you guys have a fantastic day and i'll see you in the next video